State leaders prepare to vote on a deal that would bring a major development to the city's riverfront. We've been following for months what's become known as the Water Street Project, and we're taking a closer look at that agreement. Jordan Burge is asking whether the deal is a good one for you, the taxpayer. Well, the city's been working for decades to get a development like this on the river. For some, it's a sign of downtown's turnaround. We wanted to know what went into the deal to make it happen. We got a first look at the $33.5 million agreement that city commissioners will consider this week. The Water Street project would include an office building, 150 apartments, and a parking garage along the river in downtown Dayton. Private financing will provide the $26 million for the office building and apartments, while a $5 million loan will be used for the garage. Dayton will put up $500,000 for infrastructure improvements and look for another $2 million in state and county grants. The developer won't have to pay property taxes for the first 15 years under a Community Reinvestment Act exemption. Instead, Dayton Public Schools will get a payment for 25% of what the taxes would have been and 25% of any money made from the parking garage. We wanted to know if the deal is worth it for residents. Is this a good investment, do you think, for taxpayers? I mean, not collecting on that for 15, 30 years? So, so the tax abatement, um, what you're referencing, Jordan, is for the schools, the property tax abatement. And um, certainly the, the CRA program, which has been in existence for a long time, um, is a program that, that was put in place to attract investment. And particularly when you're in, and it's particularly targeted to blighted areas for uh, us to develop uh, this area of land and we've been talking about it for so long uh, with uh, not very much money coming from uh, the, the, the general fund we're pretty proud of. Now the Dayton Public School Board still has to approve giving up those property taxes. Construction will begin next month on the office building and in April for the garage and apartments. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.